The fishing industry today has more or less solved what we call traditional sustainability. So the resources in most areas in the Northern Hemisphere is doing okay. It's not about only the resources anymore. It's also how we catch the fish. Uh, it's also about the economical uh, feasibility in the area of, uh, of, of the fishing industry. So that is the important thing about, uh, for us right now to move it in, uh, into, into a new level. We need to have somebody in the industry try and get to get the stakeholders together to drive the changes. If we do it individually, uh, it will not happen. So we have the possibility, more or less like nobody else, to uh, get people together to work on a common cause. Seafish was really pleased to get a proposal from Icelandic Seachill, Eskerson and the Nomad Group that we could co-fund with them and look at the potential for new technology in reducing the environmental impact of fishing gear, to improve uh, fish quality and to take a real in-depth look at how we can innovate in the fish catching process. We're at FAI uh, today with a group of technologists from a variety of different fields, including ultrasound, light uh, researchers, fisheries researchers, gear technologists, uh, all looking at ways that we can transform uh, and disrupt the way that we harvest seafood. By disruptive uh, technology, we mean things that are better than what came before them. Um, that have real benefits to the key stakeholders in this industry uh, and also that can be big as in it can be scaled uh, and it can be taken up by the fishermen uh, all around the world. Uh, a lot of great ideas coming out uh, but we have to start somewhere uh, and try to evolve the fisheries uh, and we need new te technology in nets, new nets, uh, maybe laser nets, maybe acoustic nets, maybe new sensors, maybe hurting the fish. I think there's a lot of tradition that has been used for a very, very long time in this industry. And that's really led to loads of really useful information and lots of, lots of knowledge. And I think working with technology to try and find ways to solve some of that, as well as the societal side of things, are some of the biggest issues that have to be faced at the moment because there, is, there are things out there that can help and it's finding ways to introduce those to this industry. If it leads to something which could actually change the fishing industry then, then it would have been totally worthwhile. So I came to this event with very little knowledge about the trawler industry um, which was in, in my opinion gave me the ability to contribute ideas that could be outlandish or, or could be impactful but I didn't know until the other people that were here that were ve that very knowledgeable, the fishermen themselves, uh, the people that are doing processing, the, you know, the people that are involved in this industry, I learned a phenomenal amount that I can take back to our team uh, and contribute to the solution space that they've defined here at this event. When you start talking about some of the things, that, the technologies that are talking about, whether it's uh, the underwater hoover or the drone or, or vacuum systems or selectability or identification, you realize how many people are interested in this in, in what's going on here. So I, I'm encouraged to see what comes out of this from the report, because I think all of us from this, just this nucleus of people, I think we're gonna go out there and actually make an impact with a lot more people in the world. It's been quite a revelation for a lot of us from the seafood side to be put together in a room with real technical innovators from other disciplines. We've really seen some, some cracking ideas, I think some very powerful concepts that could be taken forward. We've had two great days here uh, with a real variety of people who all spend their day jobs looking at um, the details of managing fisheries, developing technologies um, and also doing fishing. And what we've come up with here we think is the beginning of a new vision for um, the seafood harvesting um, as we know it.